It's divided parents and teachers. Now a new study has found the NAPLAN testing of school children isn't in their best interests. Researchers also found it's confused parents. NAPLAN, the National Assessment Program for Literacy and Numeracy. Parents like it or hate it. Oh, it's, it's quite good, you know, like test the level of the children. Well, my kids, all the kids didn't like it at all because they was a lot of, you know, stress about it, does they're going to pass or not. Now, a study by the Whitlam Institute at the Uni of Western Sydney has found the tests cause high levels of anxiety among some students. We hear complaints about uh, children being unable to sleep, about bedwetting problems, about not wanting to go to school. We don't want children to actually develop negative uh, attitudes towards school. The study interviewed 70 students, 29 teachers and 26 parents. It also found parents are largely confused by the testing. NAPLAN testing began in 2008. Students in years 3, 5, 7 and 9 are targeted. But the Education Minister says now is not the time to get rid of the tests. I think there's some real educational merit in NAPLAN. As a former educator, I am very, very mindful of the role that they play in terms of not just comparisons between students and their peers, but comparisons between schools and the state. Rachel Carey, Nine News.